First off, I'm going to address the question, is MetaZoo a scam? And by the definition of scam, it is. There are people waiting for product. I know of multiple products, but the Valentine Day product and the streamer kit for native. I don't own a single MetaZoo card, but all I see is people not getting paid as well as their championship or whatever their play network is um, having not paid out. So when you make multiple promises to deliver a product that has been prepaid, meaning the MetaZoo fans already gave their hard-earned money to the company, and this pre-order thing is very common for MetaZoo. They continue to run under this model, and the model would be fine if they delivered the product. To my knowledge today, they still have not delivered the native stream, the Valentine product, and they still have not paid out the championship. So when you say, hey, we have a $50,000 prize and you don't pay out the prize, that is a scam. When you say, hey, everyone buy into our native streamer kit and a year later, a year plus later, you don't deliver on the kit or offer refunds, that is a scam. I don't know why the MetaZoo people cannot see this. They still cannot see that they've been scammed. They are the victims, yet they're angry at me for bringing attention. And it's not MetaZoo I worry about. I did Puka Trade. I did Monthly Magic Box. There will be another MetaZoo. I 1,000% tell you this. There will be another MetaZoo situation. Puka Trade was the same thing. You can look at Puka Trade. Even between Puka Trade, there was something called Mythic Markets. Influencers promoted Mythic Markets, which is fractional ownership of cards and boxes and so on. And that did not work out. That went into insolvency. I, I didn't really do a deep dive into that, but I do know like there was a lot of weird stuff that was happening with Mythic Markets and influencers. MetaZoo will not be the first, and unfortunately, it will not be the last. It was never the first. It was never the last, right, in the community of TCG. So instead of people learning about it, we're deleting videos now. We're literally deleting evidence of how this scam came to be about. So number one, you know, very legal-ish, right? I know you guys love that. Um, is MetaZoo a scam? I think it is. Um, I don't know how you can argue it's not a scam when there's multiple people who pre-order something. Like when I, we covered the clutch cards, right? They did the same thing. People pre-ordered one piece and stuff and they just kept the money and there was no refund. So... That, like, if the same people in the comment sections believe that's a scam, why do they not believe MetaZoo was a scam when MetaZoo did this on a much larger scale across multiple products? If a card shop did this, they would be rightfully, like, absolutely obliterated online. And, and Clutch Cards was, but unluckily for the customers, it wasn't really a response because Clutch Cards went bankrupt. So... Number one, I think it's a scam. And number two, I think there's a lot we can learn from this. Um, even specifically, I'm going to point out the Nightfall is a pyramid scheme where Rudy sells a bunch of Nightfall for 820. Like at every single step of his videos, the comments, there were maybe in the beginning 10%, then 50%, then 90% of the comments were quite negative towards uh, Alpha Investments promotion of MetaZoo. They didn't like the artwork. They didn't like the gameplay. They didn't think there was any players. And all of them were correct. All these comments that at, at the time Rudy brushed off as hate were correct. They were. But now they're all deleted. He has deleted, not only has he mass deleted multiple MetaZoo videos. Um, which, you know, it, it, that's that's bad enough already. I mean, come on, right? I mean, it, it's bad. It's bad when you have to delete multiple, you know, I mean, holy shit. I mean, a lot of videos have been deleted, and I'm, I'm trying to categorize it all, but it's not easy because there's so many of them. And these are just with the MetaZoo in the title, right? Just the ones with the mother effing MetaZoo in the title. Now, imagine the ones that don't have it in the title, but he was still promoting it and pumping it, right, in his general pump and dump. So, number one, MetaZoo is a scam. I, I don't think there's any argument about that. The way they've operated, especially towards the end, broken promises, broken dreams, that's what a scam is, guys. If, if a game store did this to you, 
you would think it's a scam. But if MetaZoo does it for you, you clap your hands and you... Now, the second thing, you know, deleting videos, not great, because then we can't really learn from this. Like, if we lose money, we should learn. Uh, we should take away something where it's like, okay, we lost money because we believed this. Mike Waddell said this. There are a lot of very interesting videos, including the two videos about Mike with Mike Waddell on this on his channel that have been delayed. There are a lot of interesting comments. Okay, forget the videos. There are a lot of mother effing interesting comments people have made about this. You know, and signs. Oh, the artwork. Oh, the delivery. Oh, this and this and those are the interesting part. I could dive into all the comments and see very early on how people's perception changed about MetaZoo, where I think 90, 95% were very positive when it was first introduced. And then when they did Nightfall for 820, that's what I wanted to see. At that point, you know, you, you got to have a red flag. These boxes should be selling for 100, right? Why are they selling for 500, 820, 8200? Like, how can this be? Oh, it's, it's a hype. And uh, how, how can that be? It's a new card game. And they compare it to Pokemon and Magic, and they got first editions, and they got uh, these. I mean, at the end of the day, it ain't no Pokemon. But why did so many people fall for it? And the MetaZoo community, as small as they are, they're still very aggressive and angry at me. But they shouldn't be angry at me. Shouldn't they be angry at like Alpha Investments, like Argos and Non? Like the people who sold. I have never owned a MetaZoo card, and I never will own a MetaZoo card. I've decided that that it's just better for me so I can speak about it. And I do think it's an interesting opportunity. And you know I'm telling you the truth because I don't own it. And I'm not selling it to you. And there's no promo card myself. And the game's dead. Right? So when I talk about Fire Emblem Cypher and how much I love it, I actually went today to buy uh, four freeing anime figures because I love it. And, you know, it's a, a beautiful collect. I mean, it's, you know, it's pretty good. It was um, new lo new game, new life game or something. It was that, that set. It was Sly Moo, um, and it was Rem. You know, it's a, because uh, I enjoy doing it, right? I have a massive anime figure collection because I enjoy it. I don't even talk about it very much. I have a massive Pokemon collection, even magic collections. I enjoy it. I don't sell nothing to you guys. I don't sell nothing to you guys, guys. Like maybe in the future, I open my store again, but I haven't sold a single item to you since COVID-19. Or COVID, uh, yeah, COVID-19. No one can prove it otherwise. There's a friend that I've sold and given items for free to. But as, as for sale, so like, I think the biggest red flag is this dude's got like eight different promos, including the last promo ever made. He's got a vested interest in MetaZoo, and now he's deleting videos about MetaZoo. Like, is that not the biggest red flag you've ever seen in your life? Because to me, um, that's a pretty mother effing big red flag, guys. Like, come on now, right? Like, just let's use our head and think about this for a moment in time. 